Hi, if you're burning out, I have good news for you. There is something that you can do to really empower your way out of the situation. Hi, I'm Dr. Sharon Grossman. I'm a psychologist and coach, and I help professionals such as yourself get out of burnout, all right? So today we're gonna to talk about one of the ways in which you can do that. And that's, as I mentioned, through empowerment. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, when you think about it, everything around you is energy, all of your experiences, there's a level of energy to them. And when you're burned out, the energy is very low. It's like there's, there's some sort of energy drain, right? So what we want to do in this situation is we want to be really mindful and look at your life and what kinds of situations are you in that drain your energy and then do the opposite. So what are examples of some energy drains? Well, for example, really big one that comes up is your thinking. So think about the types of thoughts that you have while you're at work. Are they pretty positive or do you have some negative thoughts? Do you tend to compare yourself to other people and then feel bad in comparison, right? We call that compare and despair. Or do you have any sort of catastrophic thinking where you are super anxious and you feel like everything bad is going to happen and the worst situation is what's gonna turn out for you. So all this like just zaps your energy out of you. Another thing is if you lack boundaries, that can really zap your energy as well. So if you always say yes when they're asking you to do things at work, then uh, you're just constantly giving your energy away. If you're around other negative people, then that's another energy drain, all right? So there's a lot of different categories. So what I want you to do is to start to pay attention. What situations are you in where you feel really good, where good energy is coming towards you and you're feeling energized, you're feeling strong, you're feeling powerful, and where do you feel really disempowered? Where do you feel really drained? And those are the areas in your life that you need to focus on and flip around. So what can you do in those situations? If you're having negative thoughts and you're really mindful, you're able to catch yourself and then you might be able to change those around. Um, if you're around negative people, and you're aware of that, then you might want to minimize contact with them or you might want to set some boundaries about how you interact with them. So it's really just about mindfulness, really paying attention to what areas of your life really need a little bit of fine tuning and that can really make a big difference.